This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. And good Friday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is a live edition of CNN. Let's get it cranking. This first portion of the program on this Friday morning brought to you by the Athens News Courier. Back to back brack. Next wave coming in 2015. They tell me this is going to happen. We'll talk more about it in a moment, too. How well the aerial response to the influx of BRAC transfers by 2011 might determine whether Redstone Arsenal is the site of another round in 2015. Right now, they're saying uh, 2,000 of the predicted 4,600 moving here from North Virginia are presently already on Redstone Arsenal. These others are going to be coming in next month, basically in January. All right, also in the news courier this morning, here's one for you. Jury selection began Tuesday in the trial of a man accused of shooting another man following a fight over a bull, leaving the man paralyzed, according to District Attorney Christy Valls. The man was charged with first-degree assault after a witness told authorities he shot his neighbors. Shot him once in the chest. The two men apparently were arguing on a Sunday afternoon about the bull getting out and mixing with the other guy's cattle. That led the man to hitting him with a stick. Then the other guy produced a handgun, and he shot him. You can't have your bull mingling with other cows, okay? I'm guessing that's what the altercation was about. Big murder arrested in cocaine bus. Limestone County authorities yesterday arrested a local man whose street name is Big Murder after receiving tips on his alleged drug activity, according to one of the bestest sheriffs in the world, Sheriff Mike Blakely. The 32-year-old was charged with possession of a controlled substance and possession of marijuana. When the officer stopped him, they smelled a strong odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. Upon searching the car, the officers found a marijuana cigarette. First of all, they ain't called marijuana cigarettes. They're called joints. 15 grams of crack cocaine was found in his pocket. He is someone we've received numerous complaints about, so officers were watching him. Also, according to the Courier this morning, Limestone County DA office faces 10 murder trials. The Limestone County District Office is facing 10 murder cases in the new year. District Attorney Christy Voss said she and her assistants have five capital murder cases and five murder cases to try beginning next year. Also, they got an article on the front page of the News Courier this morning about Veterans Museum offering ornaments for sale just in time for Christmas. Now it's time to own a Christmas ornament that commemorates what has become one of the north top tourism spots in North Alabama. They're $10 each, so you can get them over at the museum. In sports, in the News Courier this morning, tomorrow night, of course, is when they named the Heisman Trophy winner at 7 o'clock on ESPN. I am going to predict right now Mark Ingram will win the Heisman Trophy this year. Anybody believe that? Nope. Nobody believes it but me. Frank? Franks? I just call y'all Franks. I, okay, McC Ingram will either get one or two. I'm predicting Ingram with a slight edge. And you two or three Notre Dame fans that may be in the whole South, Rick Moe being one of them from Athens State, they have finally hired a new coach. Brian Kelly will be Notre Dame's next football coach. Uh, he announced that to his team last night. They ain't happy. That concludes this portion of the news, sponsored by the News Courier. 